We have a little invention trivia for you this morning. It's a game called Did You Know? All right, here we go. Did you know that Benjamin Franklin invented bifocals because he hated wearing two pairs of glasses? I didn't know that. All right, here's another one. I like this one. The x-ray was discovered purely by accident. And finally, the can opener was invented nearly 50 years after cans were introduced. I didn't know that. These are just a few of the interesting and fun facts we ran across while researching this fabulous segment. And our next guest this morning has seen, well, he has seen everything. This is George Davison, AKA Mr. D, CEO and founder of Davison and creator of the Davison Inventing Method. And of course, Invention Land. Good morning, hey. welcome back. Good morning, you thanks know, for having me. You must love your job. I do, I every do. day is fun. Every day is fun and every day is different. And you love what, yours too, I can tell. I I do love my job, but you make more money in yours. So I am, um, let me consider yours. Uh, and you know what I like? You not only do you help people, you have passion behind it. And I love people that work with passion. And I hear you're transforming the way people invent. Tell us about that. Well, my passion is helping inventors. And I was one of them 20 plus years ago. And so I've spent my life basically helping people with their ideas and how to get them out of their heads and into their hands and eventually into the market if we are if we can get that far with it. And George, when you have that idea, I mean, a lot of people just think it's a slam jam, thank you ma'am. It's not, it's a lengthy process, right? And there's a lot of variables that can really make or break it. Absolutely, there are pitfalls that you can put your foot into along the way everywhere. So the challenge is avoiding those pitfalls and trying to get through the process as quickly as you can because there are millions of other people out there they have ideas and you never know who's going to get it out there first. So it's a race. And, and you know, it reminds me of when I was in school that my teacher would say, you know, Christy, no question is a stupid question. No idea is a stupid idea. I mean, if you've got it, go for it. And, and you guys even showed in this great thing on your website called Webisode Series, Dare to Invent. You even show the, the good, the bad, even the ugly. Absolutely. So let's take a look at one. I sure. love it. Meet Diane Daremo. She's a dog lover from Rhode Island, and she has an idea for something to help keep dogs hydrated on a hot day, especially when a bowl of water isn't so handy. We got our first dog and a little baby, Alexander James, the love of our lives, and I worried about him when we took him out um, in the car or wherever if he was going to have enough water. And I didn't want to do the bowl because it was an inconvenience. I mean, just imagine for a minute that you're a dog, right? And you're sitting out there in that really hot sun with a bad case of cotton mouth. Well, that's the problem that Diane's trying to solve. So Diane's idea came into the department, and her problem is that she's trying to hydrate a dog when there's not a water bowl available. And I can kind of relate to that because I'm a pet lover myself. Curtis is a dog lover. So Diane's idea went straight to his desk. His team had to create a new doggy device that was an on-the-spot thirst quencher. And like all new product ideas, it has to be cost-effective to manufacture, appeal to consumers, and fit into a company's product line. So what does a dog love more than food? A ball. So we thought we'd take the idea of trying to put some kind of a hydration system into a dog toy. So the concept was simple. A ball that holds water and unscrews to be easily filled for drinking. It could also be used as a toy. We were in discussions with Hugs Pet Products on another project, and uh, Diane's idea popped into my head. We went into the product vault, pulled it out, showed Hugs. They gave us a lot of feedback on the design, and we had some tweaks we had to make. The team revamped the design to be a dog bone chew toy that holds water, and it has tiny holes in it where the water gushes out when it's squeezed. The team called it the Hydra Bone. It was just amazing. I said, these guys still care, and they're still doing their best to, oh my god, to make it work. With the new design complete, it still had to pass one more test before getting licensed. Since the Hydrobone is designed to be used in a lot of different kinds of environments by a lot of different kinds of dogs, we thought it should go through a lot of different random tests. So the first test, squishability. Pass. Cinder block ability. Good shot. Pass. 
Anybody gonna get me down? Flamability. Looks flammable. Fail. Launchability. You broke the bone. Fail. Well, it looks like the hydro bone didn't survive all of our tests, but hey, at least the dog likes it. Dog ability, pass. So Hug saw the new design and loved it and immediately licensed it. We can actually take the same kind of technology that we have in the hydro bone and we can incorporate it into several different other dog toys. We invited Diane to visit us in Invention Land where there were a few surprises waiting for her. This is how it's gonna look when you are in the big oh box stores. God. Oh my so, Oh, that's beautiful. And mm, it was your this. idea. It started with you. It's only uh, fitting that you're here to share in this today. And it'll be in every major Sam's Club across the country. Oh, I can't even believe this. This is amazing. <laughs> this is totally amazing. But this, this is what they look like. And you know what? I think if you turn that over, there's a little something extra for you on the back. That's your first royalty check. Are you serious? That's your first royalty check. What do you think? Oh, no? my god. I Congratulations. Oh. We're really happy that Diane didn't give up on her idea. There was a time there where we thought this thing might just sit around and collect dust. Then a few stars started to line up, and the next thing you know, this thing took off like a rocket ship. I'm <laughs> speechless, and I am at a loss for words. I really am. Everyone was so wonderful and kind, and Mr. D was amazing. I am extremely proud of her, more than she will ever know. There you go. I mean, what a great idea. Do you know how many times I've been in the car with my dog? And what do I do? I have my water bottle. I have the little cap. Right. I pour a little bit in and I'm, I'm like, come on, come on, Ruby, get some water. What a fabulous idea. I can see you doing that. You did? <laughs> did you like that? Come on, Ruby, get I some did. water, get some water. <laughs> right, right. Well, now you can just take the dog bone, the, the water bones with you and keep them in your car and your pet will be happy as can be. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks for joining us, of course. And we look forward to seeing more Dare to Invent stories in the near future with George. And to find out more about Dare to Invent and how you can get started with your idea, again, it's just an idea, go for it. Visit davison.com, that's D-A-V-I-S-O-N.com.